This is a Chucky Beat production. What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to my brand new setup video. It's about time that I've completely revamped my setup and I've upgraded pretty much everything. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my setup. Now, if you guys want to see more setup videos like this, be sure to smash that like button down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. And with that being said, let's get started. Now this setup is very different in the sense that I needed a laptop as I'm often out but at the same time I wanted the desktop experience. Now I myself am 16 years old and all of this is being paid for with the money I make from my work and my job and my YouTube channel. And so I couldn't just go ahead and buy a high-end laptop and build a computer. So what I decided to do was make a two-in-one setup where I bought a high-end laptop, but also have the peripherals to turn this laptop into a desktop setup for when I'm at home. Now this entire setup costs less than $2,000 and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. So with that being said, let's get started. So I think it's appropriate to start off with the main machine as the first item I showcase, which is the ASUS Republic of Gamers 15.6 inch gaming laptop. Now this has a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M, 16 gigs of RAM, and an Intel Core i7. I went with the 15 inch model because like I said, when I'm at home, I can just hook it up to my 24 inch monitor. Now a lot of people say that a gaming laptop is not a true gaming machine and I'm not using it for gaming. I'm just going to be using it for 1080p and 4K editing. And for that, it performs spectacularly and I have no complaints about it. Moving along, we have the BenQ 24 inch gaming monitor. It has one millisecond response time, but I can't stress how much I love this monitor coming from just a laptop screen this whole experience is amazing and it makes things so much easier I love the size of it the colors are great and of course it works perfectly for all my needs and I know for a lot of people this setup is bare bone and it's not over the top but that's kind of what I intended it to be when I built it it's a setup that can get the job done for anything I need it to actually perform for. And at the same time, it goes to show that even as a YouTuber, you don't need to spend $5,000, $10,000 to have an amazing setup. You can get a lot of work done on a budget as well. Next up, we have my microphone, which is the Samson Meteor microphone. I made a video on this microphone and I stand behind my word. I absolutely love this mic. Now beside the microphone, there's also a phone stand, which is holding my iPhone 6 Plus. The reason I went with an iPhone is because I've been using an Android for three years and I wanted to switch things up. Like I've been bashing the iPhone for three years in a row and I haven't actually even tried it. So I thought, why not give it a shot? And to be honest, it's not too bad. Now moving to the upper row, we have my printer. It's a very, very old printer, which makes this setup look a hundred times worse, but I need it for school. And then beside this uh, printer are my speakers. These are the Logitech Z906 THS surround sound speakers. Just look these babies up. They are absolutely amazing speakers, super loud, amazing bass. It's, you can literally throw a party in this room. And then we also have my letter from YouTube and the 100,000 subscribers plaque. I love having it up there because whenever I'm editing or you know going through tough times, I can just see it and reflect upon it and it motivates me to keep going. Now, a big part of my old crappy setup was the fact that I had to use a laptop and I had to use a laptop keyboard. Now, moving from a laptop setup to a desktop setup meant that I could buy a proper keyboard. And in this case, I went with the Tomoko Mechanic keyboard. I want to make a video on just this keyboard because I've never used a mechanical keyboard before and this one goes for about $40, but I actually just love using it so much. I love the clicky sound. I love the way it feels. I've never wanted to type so much in my life and this keyboard is actually one of my favorite pieces of the entire setup. Now, Apart from the keyboard, we also have my mouse, which is the Logitech MX Master Mouse. It's great for editing because it has a horizontal scroll wheel as well, and it feels great in the hands, and it's just a great mouse overall. But that's about it for my new setup, guys. It's really cool how we've gone from this horrible laptop-only setup to a proper setup, and I have to thank you guys for all the support. Now, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I have an idea for a setup that will cost under $700 and include a gaming PC. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out. Yeah.